Just before this video gets started, I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be dyeing my hair pink for Charlton's game on Tuesday night against Oxford in an attempt to raise awareness and support Lyle Taylor's giving page and, of course, his campaign for Cancer Research UK. As you know, Taylor has dyed his hair pink and he's wearing matching pink boots for the entire month of October and has set up a giving page to raise as much money as he can for Cancer Research UK. He's raised nearly four and a half grand now, I think, and I've left a link in the description so that you can donate to his page and I've decided that I'm going to contribute um, as this game, the Valley is going pink and supporting this. I actually had the privilege of meeting him uh, at the end of today's game against Barnsley, which of course is this video or a match day vlog of this game. And I told him about what I'm doing on social media, on my YouTube, and I said that I'm dying my hair pink. And he said that he'd like to meet me after the game on Tuesday with the pink hair. I don't know if I'm going to do a match day interview uh, after the game with him. I will try to, but it'll be. Re he's a really humble bloke, a really nice man. Um, obviously, superb footballer, gives in 110 percent, and is really loyal and really, really quite. Um, supportive of what he's doing and of course this is a fantastic cause I highly recommend donating to his page any donation is accepted literally anything is appreciated and I hope you guys can support uh, me as well for me helping out with the cause if you do see me on Tuesday uh, then come say hello and uh, maybe ask me questions as to um, why I'm doing this or just to have a chat in general but yeah as I said, donate to Lyle Taylor's giving page. There's a link in the description. And without any further hesitation, let's get right into the matchday vlog against Barnsley. Yep, we're going to get shit out. Hey guys, it's Tyler Rollinson and welcome back to another Charlton vlog. Now today is potentially Lee Bowyer's toughest test of the season so far. And we're taking on Barnsley today. Now Barnsley... Despite having a little bit of a shaky start to League One football after being relegated last season, they're flying at the moment and they're sitting in third. They scored four away from home against Peterborough and salvaged a 3-2 win over Luton last week. So really, Barnsley are the real deal and they are among one of the toughest teams in the league with some of the strongest players including George Moncur, Alex Moa, Dimitri Guevara and Kiefer Moore. However, Moore is injured so that could bring some good news to Charlton. However, their defensive foul tees is something to worry about as that is what's been cost costing Charlton over the last few weeks. Barnsley, among one of the toughest teams in the league, really could annihilate us today. But if Charlton can just get their act together, we do have a good chance. So without any further hesitation, let's get down to the valley. And come on, boys. Let's get back to winning ways. Come on, you red! Oh, this is going to be fun. Then, like an absolute pillock, I was 10 minutes late for the game. I was actually very lucky because as soon as I took my seat, this happened. Attacking chances when Barnsley's attacks break down, we attack when ours attack break down, what? they come at us as well. So it's quite quite an interesting game so far. Barnsley player has gone down after the corner that you just saw. We're currently receiving treatment, but yeah, quite an interesting game so far. But Charlton got the advantage, and let's just hope we can hold on to it. How many wins? Short ball. 
ball. Go on. Oh. Unlucky. Right, second half's about to start. It is Charlton 1, Barnes and Neil. And I have to say, it's not been the most entertaining first half in the world. I think, I mean, I missed the first 10 minutes like an absolute idiot. And then as soon as I come up, Charlton took the lead. Since then, I think both teams seem a little bit evenly matched. But I do think Barnsley's attacks are very, very dangerous. They had quite a lot in the last five minutes of the game. But I think both of our attacks have ended up in the exact same way. Defenders dealing with it or in row's edge. So, Let's just see if the second half is any better. Uh, the sun, as you can probably tell, is affecting visibility a little bit. It's quite intense, but we've got the lead at the minute. Big win on the cards. Barnsley, uh, we gun him for this, and I'll... we can't, we can't let this slip. We cannot let this slip. Come on, Boyer, rally the troops. Let's get a well-deserved win against Barnsley. Comedy Reds. We cannot let this lead slip again. Oh my God. Come on, boys. We've got even more danger now. Keeper Moore. Oh, he's he's going to get, he's gonna get attacked by a seagull. This rep is an absolute mom, honestly. He's got to be a Palace fan. <laughs> <laughs> honestly. Corner came in, head up, goal. Free kick. What the hell was that about? No way, no way near foul. Should have been 2-0. Absolute joke. This referee, honestly, he was a joke for Peterborough and he's a joke now against Barnsley. What an absolute ball. It's over, Carl and Grant, surely. One more. One more. Come on! Ah, oh, yes! Super goals well, Taylor. Three by one the ball. Played in the Taylor on the wing. Cut inside. And a single tap in. Two new to the addicts. Come on! Ole, ole, ole! Come on!
that's what she said. <laughs> Ten minutes left. Bailey is down and receiving some treatment, but this is the time where Charlton start conceding goals, and Barnsley have still been getting forward quite a few times. Definitely think Charlton deserved the win, they thoroughly deserved, but Barnsley are coming forward, so. Well, they have been for pretty much the entire game, but haven't really been doing anything with their attacks. I haven't come from anything. Hopefully, we can hold on to this. So you don't want to see come on, Charlton. Like I think he's got a bit of a knock on that last time. Yeah, he might have done. Go on. Two nil. 